Okay, we we'll start please with the press conference. Michael Chek and Julia Montoya. Michael, Michael uh, um, not, not the result of you wanted, but you must be pleased with how you guys managed to keep them in the in, 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 yeah, look, I thought we played better than we did against Australia. We improved again, which is obviously our goal, is to keep improving. I think um, some of the areas where we knew South Africa would be very strong and we needed to try to manage them and contain them. And we stepped up in the scrum and that was a good platform for us to go forward. Maul as well, I know we gave one away, but, uh, but I thought we, we handled that well. And then we stayed in the game. We worked really, really hard, you know, like uh, all the way through. We're playing at altitude, you know, which we didn't really speak about too much in the game. So I could speak about it now because it's finished. But uh, it was, uh, I, I was really um, pleased with the way the game, um, how we played and how we stayed quite regular in the game. We didn't dip out for, for moments and just disappointing about a couple of things, probably obviously the drop ball that, that sends the, them over for a long range try. and then. We had a fair bit of possession in their 22. We weren't able to convert as much as we would have liked. So they're things that we can work on going into next week and then further on. Just Michael, um, just in terms of this, do you feel this is uh, a victory you guys sort of um, slip in you know, whatever way you could cut your second victory in South Africa? Well, well, I wouldn't say it's a victory that slipped away. Like, it, it's an opportunity that we missed at Ellis Park, you know, that, that thing. But I like. I want to keep everything in perspective about how, how we're operating. We're not happy about um, losing. We want to, we, we, we are happy about improving from last week. And we want to take, I think what would be really good for us will be to, okay, we've seen, we've had a look now this week at what the level's like, as we're starting to hopefully improve to a level, level better than we've ever played at. And now we'll get a chance back in Buenos Aires to see if we can improve again. You take from this game that you can actually move on from into the World Cup? Mate, every game. Yeah, this is part of our process to build for the World Cup. There's a chicken in there. Uh, <laughs> if you want to get it out, I didn't know they were allowed in press conferences, the chickens. If you want to feed them up, you'll be right. And um, the, uh, the, the idea for us is to try and do two things at once here. Build for the World Cup, obviously, but also compete because competing and competition is one of the most important things to do when you get to a knockout competition, which World Cup more or less is. So to be able to compete in these games, um, we started off slow out of the gates against New Zealand. We competed a little better second half. We competed better against Australia. We improved our competition here again, and we're playing against some of the best teams in the world here. So um, we just want to keep that momentum going and you know, when we do have an obstacle or we hit a, a, you know, a setback, just regroup and 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 come back again, come back even harder. That's that's probably the pathway. There's not a whole lot of games left, but um, you know, I think uh, that we we competed really well tonight, and we're just unlucky to get we didn't get the chocolates. Michael, um, there's been so much focus on the other half of the World Cup draw. Not your half. Is it better to be your half? The World Cup draw, how you Mate, I'm, I'm not really thinking about anything. Like, the way I would approach a World Cup is like, or like any knockout competition pretty much, is it's, it's the game that's in front of you next, right? And even with that said, with that said, we, we get a chance to go back to Buenos Aires next week and play against the world champions um, before we leave to go to the World Cup. And, that's an opportunity that we really want to try and take, you know, to build some momentum for ourselves, to continue improvement. And then that will help us when we get there. We're also keen to predict what's going to happen. Uh, that's the punters, you know, that's you fellas here and ladies. I'm, I can't think like that. I can't think about predicting what's going to happen. I just got to think about what's going to happen next and how can we be best prepared um, to compete and win in whatever's coming next. Michael, uh, given what you're building up towards, how much do you look at character um, in your players before you make a decision? Definitely, you know. And I'll, I'll tell you now, that's one thing that this team has in spades. You know, we have a lot of that. They, these fellas are, they're, they're good people, very good people. They're good friends. They're good friends to all, like to me and to all the staff. They've got a very tight-knit brotherhood in there. 
and and there's a lot of young guys starting to come through now who are building that you know a new part to that you know adding on to the guys that we've got with more experience and it's changing the dynamic a little bit in a really positive way and I think that character is something that you know I'm trying to help them build more belief not character belief in their character and what they can achieve if they believe in themselves a little bit more so yeah I, I, it's a great team to be a part of I, I love every day that I'm in there can I ask you, just based on your performance against Australia today's performance, are you happy from a player's point of view that you guys are on the right path heading off to France? I know there's some more matches. Well. <coughs> yeah, of course. In terms of how we're approaching where we're going, like, I think we need a step forward. Of course, it hurts the way that we lost today and we want to win every game and we want to, to compete and, and win and we need to start believing, as, as Michael said. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm proud of the team and the fight and the character we, we show and we did some step forward. We still have one more game against South Africa in Buenos Aires with our people there, so looking forward to to be there. Captain, just on that particular game, having ran the Springboks close today, when you go back to Argentina, will you guys be smelling blood? Will you be seeing it as a real opportunity? Will you be expecting this guy, to win? This guy is a headline, right? <laughs> right. He, wants, he wants a headline. <laughs> He said, will we be smelling blood? Yeah, another, no, another headline writer. Yeah. And also with that, or the inverse of that, will you be expecting a very different Springbok team who will be awakened by what they had just produced in this game today? Like, to be honest, we need to keep trusting in our process. We need to keep trusting in, we need to keep trusting our process and the way that we, we train and we, we try to, to improve week in, week out. Like, as Mike said before, we can't predict what's going to happen. We need to be thinking about our things, what we can control, and the thing that we can't control, we can't control. So, yeah, we have one more week to try to get better, and that's that the focus here. And then, of course, we want to win every game. But first, we need to to trust in the process and not not thinking in the result every time. Okay, guys, thank you very much. We finished the press conference. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I fed that chicken. Man. <laughs>